Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie styling video. Today I have a bunch of fashion packs. I have a couple of Minions fashion packs. I have a couple of Hello Kitty fashion packs. I have a couple of Jurassic World fashion packs and I have a couple of just regular fashion packs. Uh, so we're going to take these all out of the box, review them and then style these five dolls who all have very different vibes uh, and we are going to see how uh, we can get them to look. Now, as always with some of my styling videos, I am going to pull from my back catalog of other fashion packs. They're going to come out of packs that look like this now. And we are going to try to make some outfits that are super cute. Some of these have shoes, some of them don't. So as always, shoes are going to get pulled from the back catalog as well as accessories. So, without further ado, let's take a little bit of an in-depth look at each of these. So here is one of the Jurassic World fashion packs. Uh, we've got a basic t-shirt, a shiny scaly skirt, uh, some silver shoes, and a camera. Uh, kind of a cool outfit. Overall, I don't think I would pair these two pieces together. I'll definitely use the shoes for something. Uh, the camera, I have a bunch of already. Uh, this top is going to be oversized, even on curvy, so this might become a Ken top because it is kind of ambiguous enough to work with that, I think. Uh, so it may just be like a crop top for Ken, uh, but we'll take a look at it here in a minute. And we have another t-shirt dress from Jurassic World. This is a really cool collar. We don't get a ton of those. And we've got some silver avi aviators back here. They're not transparent, so I probably wouldn't use them. But again, some trans some aviators are mirrored, so you can't see through them. So maybe I will use this. Uh, this is a cool design on this t-shirt dress. I may just throw some leggings under it and go with it. Uh, and we have this fashion pack, which has got uh, girl purr written on there, these shiny purple combat boots, uh, some pink and yellow checkered skirt, an orange and purple uh, color block top. Again, I would not pair these two together. This I would probably use. We have a lo lot of yellow, we have a lot of pink, uh, and this is bright. So this is probably going to go with one of my bright dolls if I do that. Uh, this top is very basic. I could pair this with a doll and not really have any problems with that. Uh, you guys know by now how I feel about t-shirt dresses. Uh, I don't love them. Sometimes they look cute. A lot of the times they just look like sleep shirts. Uh, there is a pair of transparent sunglasses up there that are little mini sunglasses. So those are always convenient. This gives me major Taylor Swift vibes in a good way. Uh, lacing on the top. It's an off the shoulder lace. Uh, it's an older fashion pack. I found it at DSW of all places. Uh, this one is kind of cute. I think it's gonna look better on a curvy doll than it will on an original body, which all, f all five of those are uh, because the faces were cute, but not cute enough for me to use up my curvy bodies that I have that I try to keep in reserve for really good faces. Uh, but it does have a couple of matching accessories, which I do love those. Uh, and then we have our Hello Kitties. So this one, this is a cute Hello Kitty top. I could pair that with jeans and it would be super cute. It's got a little bow, very kawaii. Uh, two purses, one's a lemon, one's a strawberry. I don't love either of them. Uh, an actual ice cream cone. We do have some transparent sunglasses up here that are cat eye sunglasses, very 60s, very mod. These are cute shoes with a little bow on them. And then we have another big overdress thing. I don't love these either. These are basically t-shirt dresses that are just V-cut. Um, this, we have some striped shorts. I think this is gonna be better on a curvy doll, but I had to get it because it was super cute, even if it's gonna go on a curvy doll eventually. It does have some more cat eye glasses. 
We've got a fanny pack, a cute little Hello Kitty purse. I could actually use that. A couple of accessories that are nothing to uh, really talk about. And we do have another t-shirt dress. This I would just use as pajamas most likely, uh, but these shoes are really cute. Uh, the purse I would use, it has one of the Barbie phones. We don't get those a lot. Another nice gold chain. Uh, that purse and the camera, the camera I would use, the purse is a weird shape. I probably wouldn't use it. On our minions stuff, we have one of those collars, but in silver, which I love. We've got a white uh, bracelet. We've got an ID tag which is really cute if I were to take the Minions tag thing off of it. Uh, another cool little bag that says Bello, which isn't that horrible. Uh, banana that's on a uh, fanny pack, kind of ironic. Uh, this, I feel like, is probably going to look really good on a curvy doll, but this is definitely like a theme park themed outfit. And our last fashion pack, we have the overdress it's meant to look like denim but it's printed it's ruffled um, again more of a theme park dress uh, these bags are cute if I take the details decals off of them it does have some transparent round sunglasses some matching yellow accessories and a cute little uh, pearl headband in blue so let's get these out of the box and see what we've got to work with because some of these girls may be going to a theme park. I don't know, I haven't decided. You guys are gonna be with me this whole time and we are going to get them all out. So these boxes, I don't love. Uh, I did get these at like, uh, I think I got these at Kohl's. Uh, so not horrible pricing, $6.99. Uh, again, it's just the one outfit that's in there though. So, not the best when it comes to pricing them out, especially considering most of these outfits are not really cute. They're not bad, they're just not really cute is what I would put them as. We're going to take these little things off. Try to get all of our stuff set apart as purses and accessories. So some of them are going to be kind of cute. Some of them are going to just be weird. This is a cute little bracelet. You guys can see. It does match that. Um, that necklace that we took off earlier. Again, we've got a headband that's just done in like a blue pearl. Not super easy to match that but it is cute. Um, again, this is the only piece. It does have a high back and it is Velcro, so at least you're not slipping it over. Um, it has these weird little ties here at the arms. They've got like little knots, like it's just supposed to be tied at the shoulder. Uh, cute, but weird. If it didn't have the minions on it and it was just the, um, and it was just a denim dress, I would maybe consider it and then pair it with a cute pattern top underneath. Um, but in the meanwhile, we'll keep opening these. And I'm gonna have to take this off real fast. 
because this bag is getting too heavy for my for my camera to be held up. And so we've got this now. Uh, I think most of this is held on with just uh, tension, but we're gonna just pop them out. Again, there's our shirt. It says more than a minion. It is color blocked with different colors on the sleeves. Kind of cute. Here is the cuff. Very cute. Again, fanny packs. I don't really use a ton of those. This is a cute little bag. It does say Bello. Uh, it's blank on the other side. So I'm going to pop those back there. Here is the little ID holder. It does have a little minion on there. Kind of cute, kind of random. I would probably take the uh, minion off with some acetone sunglasses. Again, transparent, so very usable. Here we have one of these sort of tribal inspired collars. Very cute in a nice silver. So you can really use it a lot more often than you would be able to with other um, colors. Because we do get a lot of other silver accessories to match. And then let's look at some of the Hello Kitty stuff again. And get these out a little, a little closer together. Now I'm not doing this gently. I'm just ripping these boxes open because these are not going to be used for anything. I am so sorry, y'all. I keep hitting this stupid camera today. It has been a long couple of days at work, which is why I have not updated in a few days. I've had all this stuff ready to go for a while, uh, but here is our little Hello Kitty. It is a little bit shorter in the front than in the back, so that's kind of cute. But again, that's a pajama shirt for me. We've got a regular just gold braided chain. We love those. Uh, cameras, we don't really need those. Weird shaped purses, we don't really need those. This is a cute bag, because I've seen girls carry bags like that. Uh, of course, the iPhone, very important accessory for all of your dolls, because who is ever without their phone nowadays? No one except Barbie a lot of the times. Uh, I have bought packs just for phones uh, previously. <laughs> so this is not out of the realm for me to have picked up. Uh, so very cute. We've got another one right here that we're going to pull out. trying to get through these as quickly as possible so we can really start um, start looking at them. <sighs> so again, I apologize if you guys are getting whiplash from watching these. So, cute Hello Kitty purse. 
Very kawaii. Uh, a little hair wrap. We've got a bunch of those, but they're always nice to have because they're basic. Uh, those previous glasses in pink now. Also nice to have. Uh, a little watch that's got a thunderbolt on it for some reason. I don't know if I would really use that. We've got a little flower necklace in blue, which matches those shoes from the previous pack. But I don't have a ton of accessories if that matches. Uh, another fanny pack. This one's more of an envelope bag. And then we're gonna take the clothes out. Uh, again, here are these shorts. They are very cute. Uh, I feel like they're probably going to be too big for the majority of body types, so those are probably going to be a curvy doll. Uh, but still very cute. I like this shirt because it's just a little baggy. It is Velcro all the way. So you can actually get away with putting it a little tighter in the back if you don't care about uh, uh, overlap. So very cute. Okay. And now we're going to do this one. Again, very cute. We love these. Uh, but what we don't love is trying to open these stupid cardboard boxes. Um, I'm really glad that the newer Barbie packs have moved on to the uh, have moved on to the bags because these have always been kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you know, I do kind of like this lemon bag because at least it's molded. It's not just a print. So maybe I'll use that one because we do have a couple of lemon colored accessories. Uh, we have our strawberry, which is going to be at least a little easier to match, but I would probably never use it. Um, I like this bow because it's big, so you're definitely going to see this bow. Ice cream cone, that's just an accessory, that's not something we're going to style with, but I do always appreciate getting more Barbie food. Here is another pair of glasses. These are slightly different than the other ones, so that's always nice to have. Uh, and then we're going to take these shoes out. real quick. So here are these shoes. They do have little bows on them. They're very cute. They're in a nice lilac. Uh, they do match that kawaii purse that we have. So maybe those will get styled together. Uh, we have our little overskirt or overdress thing that's got the rainbows and pineapples and strawberries and ice cream and cherries and bows. Oh my. Uh, a lot going on on that shirt. Uh, we do have this Hello Kitty shirt. Very cute. Very, you know, taste the rainbow. Uh, I think I could honestly style this one on her and it would look super cute because her hair has all of these colors actually. Um, so that might go on her. We will see. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to open all the boxes at the same time. See how much more that condenses down once I take them out of the box? Uh, <laughs> I love when they condense down because there's nothing better than having something that ate up a ton of room on your shelf and your closet waiting to be reviewed, whatever. Uh, here is this. This is like a stretchy and this is more of a 
cotton. It's very cute. I do love when they mix textures. Uh, we do have a bit of a tuft here at the bust, like a gather at the bust. Uh, I love that. I just don't know how good it's going to look on an original body. We have this in uh, metallic gold and like a pearl gold. Uh, not metallic because it doesn't actually shine, uh, but it's pearl. And then a nice chain. So we've got at least three gold accessories that match now. Uh, we're going to look at this one. Now... We're going to take the, what I'm going to lovingly dub, the Taylor Swift dress out. Very cute. It is a very polyester dress. That gather at the waist is Velcro. It's not just stitched, so I love that. Um, and then we have this little bag, which is nice and basic, again. We have a couple of yellow accessories that we might be able to work that with. Um, and then here is her necklace in a nice pearl silver. Uh, nothing to write home about on that one. Let's get our Jurassic World. These are in our uh, reusable bags, which I love the reusable bags. Uh, it's a great way to keep your accessories organized and keep those because you will, if you're like me and buy a ton of these things, you will have a lot of stuff to organize. Uh, cute little metallic silver, actually pearl silver, pearl silver uh, Converse. Another camera, it's the same mold, but it is in a hot pink instead of the green from the previous fashion pack. Uh, we're gonna pop these staples out real quick. I think we got them all. Yep. Okay. So again, it's another one of these just circle skirts. Uh, I don't love these because they tend to poof out too much. Uh, I prefer a more structured skirt. This one looks very boxy, like in the container, like in the bag. But as I'm holding it, it's not super boxy as I was expecting it to be. but we'll see what it looks like on. Uh, and then again, we have another one of these right here. Here are our aviators in a pearl silver. I don't love these because they're not transparent, but because they're aviators, I may still use them. And then we have this in not so much of a neon yellow, but in more of a traditional yellow, uh, which we don't get a ton of accessories in that color, unfortunately. We get a lot of neon yellow, hot pink, uh, turquoise, but still very cute. Um, here is the t-shirt dress. It's actually a little more structured than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it does have these little capped sleeves, which is nice. It makes it a little different. It's a very cute decal on there, which unfortunately means you really can't uh, uh, belt it if you wanted to. I mean, you could, but you're going to cut off that design in the middle. Uh, but again, it's a little longer in the back. Um, so... Nothing to really write home about. Uh, we do have this bigger fashion pack, which has two outfits. Um, so, and this is a Barbie Loves the Ocean one. So this is made from recyclable materials, supposedly. I don't know if Barbie has switched all of their fashion packs over to that yet, but this doesn't feel super out of the... Um, realm for what the previous fashion 
felt like. These are the sunglasses. These are micro sunglasses. Uh, I probably wouldn't use those because they don't provide much and they're red. Uh, but Barbie loves the ocean, but still gives us all these freaking uh, staples, which are microplastics, which go into the ocean. So Barbie doesn't love the ocean that much. Sorry about this, guys, if it's taken longer than uh, you all thought it was going to. Uh, I know I'm at like 25 minutes just talking about these fashion packs, but I am trying to be as uh, complete as possible when reviewing all of these. This actually feels like a very good material. Um, unfortunately, I missed one of these staples from the back, but it pulled forward. Uh, lots of staples holding this one in for some reason, even though it was a t-shirt dress. Um, very cute. Um, I like the printing on the thing. I don't love that the, uh, with the decal on there, but the lightning bolt, we did get a watch that has a lightning bolt. So maybe I could pair those two together. Um, again, we talked about this shirt already. It's cute but it's gonna be hard to pair unless I have orange pants to pair it with, uh, which I do for a Ken, but I don't know if I do for a Barbie. Uh, and this looks like it would be one of those pleather skirts. It's not, it's actually a, uh, just a, like a stretch. So it's gonna actually lay pretty well and it does open all the way down the back. So that's nice. Uh, and last but not least, we have the combat boots. They do have the B on the bottom. Uh, so in all those fashion packs, we only got four pairs of shoes. So that's about right. Uh, we did get all these accessories. So let's give these a more in-depth look for the dolls. The first one we're gonna do is another of our mermaids. I believe she's she was originally a color change mermaid. I got her at a thrift store, so I just kind of like redid her hair with a little bit of knotting and some little rubber, some little little elastics. Um, but I love this pastel with her because her hair is almost this exact same shade so I think this is going to be a definite for her uh, just because I think it's cute I think it fits her vibe and our other girl with colored hair does not have pastel colored hair really um, so what we're gonna do is set her to vibe right in that. Again, looks super cute. Um, I'd love to put her with uh, with some shorts or something like that, but I don't really have anything. And I'm realizing there's some like defects on the back of her leg as I was touching her leg. So sorry about that if you guys were wondering what that was. Um, so we're going to look at some of our additional, I think I'm going to put her in jeans, actually. Like, I think she may get my, uh, my career of the year jeans, because I think that's a cute look for her. Yeah, so that's what she's going to get. I don't get a ton of doll jeans just because Barbie doesn't make them, which irritates me to no end. Um, but that's super cute. It's a super cute outfit. Um, 
this color is in her shirt. So she's gonna get these cute little heels with the bows. Um, like that. Very cute. Um, she's not going to get any uh, arm accessories, I don't think. I think she's just going to get the bag. Because I think we're just going to give her that and call it a day. Right there, yeah. So, very cute. That's how she's styled right at this minute. Uh, I'm okay with this kind of Hello Kitty vibe for her. Um, just because it works. It's not too overdone. It is still white. Uh, like, like on a blank slate. Uh, because it's not too overdone. It's not too garish with just the decal on her shirt and on her bag. So she is going to go back here, back on her bench. Now that she is thoroughly styled. And then next up we have our pale girl. She has a very pale face. She does not actually have a made-to-move body that matches her, uh, but I really liked this hair, and I really liked her face. She is actually one of our uh, Confetti series color reveals, uh, so she did have a custom body, which I kind of hate when they do that, because it really makes them uh, hard to match until they make us, until they give us a color reveal doll. She does have blue in her hair. She's got some gold eyeliner, or not eyeliner, eyeshadow. So that's kind of going to determine our coloring for her. And so I think we can get away with this outfit if we also bring in a little bit of blue in her accessories. Let's see. So let's see how this looks first and foremost on a uh, original body doll. These are all original bodies right now. Uh, Cause like I said, I didn't love any of these heads enough to use up my, I think three curvy bodies that I have left before I have to start rebodying dolls that I've already styled. Um, So I, I don't love, like, this is fine, the skirt part, which I thought was going to be weird. I don't love this part because of the way it is laying. Um, I either need to do a belt or something to hold it down. So let's see if I were to... Um, do this from the back, which kind of makes a belt. Fanny packs from the back do kind of make a belt if you need to uh, secure something, just FYI. They look belt-ish. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't love the way that looks, really. So I'm a little disappointed in this dress that I thought was going to be really cute, and I can't tell if it just needs to be ironed down or if it's just kind of a loss. So for now, I'm going to take it off. And because it's going to fit that way on all of them, I'm going to move it off to the side and just kind of say, namas. Um, so we've got this one, and we're just going to pop it off to the side. So take two. Uh, she's got blue in her hair. We could try this one. 
I feel like putting her in really bright colors might take away from the fact that her uh, body doesn't match her face. So let's give that a try. Again, this is a cinched waist. Uh, we do have these lace cap sleeves. So let's give this a try. Uh, with these, I'm probably gonna need to pull in white shoes or gold shoes to make it, uh, to go with her eyeshadow. There is a little bit of green in here also. So this is what that looks like. It's very cute. It's very, you know, I've come to tea. I don't have this actually on its right. Velcro, okay. So that's what that looks like. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So for now, we're going to say this is a maybe. Um, and that's really just on the way it fits, not on the color or anything like that. Um, so let's see. What else do I have that would look cute with blue? I have this shirt that we were kind of hesitant about. It is white, so it's going to make her look lighter overall. Um, So let's see how this shirt fits, if it's going to be relegated to the Ken fashions or not. So it's not a horrible look, uh, but really doesn't do anything for her. Uh, so we're going to take this off. And we are going to pull something from our back catalog of stuff to really give her a different vibe. Um, So we are going to use some of our cute things that we had that are maybe that were maybe not cute enough to make the cut in some of our other videos. This is a cute top, but it's silver, and we've got gold eyeshadow. We think that's too much of a clash. I think it's too much of a clash. Again, this is always down to my personal taste, um, just because, you know, I like them. Maybe black and white. Let's see. Maybe that's going to be her vibe, is black and white. Hmm. Uh, I don't hate that skirt, but it's very much a, uh, a curvy skirt. No, okay. Not in that bag, um, I guess. Maybe we'll find something in this bag. Oh, here we go. We will put her in this outfit that I pulled out before. She's gonna be black and gold with a little bustier top and some workout pants. And that is going to be her outfit, I think this was an outfit that I had considered for a couple of other dolls, but I did not end up using. 
and she has got the gold from her eyeshadow to really pull it all together. This isn't going to clash with the blue that's in her hair. It isn't too extra, but it does kind of show that she's going for a little bit of glam at the office kind of look. And so we've got that. And then we are going to style her up with some uh, gold accessories to really tie that in. I need to bend this in some to where it stays on. There we go. Very cute like that. Uh, and now we can either give her some black shoes or some gold shoes. And we're gonna need to go into the back for either of those colors. And I think what we're gonna do is give her the shoes that she came with from her party girl days when she was a celebration color reveal like that because that matches really well uh, just like that and so I think that's gonna be her look it's cute it doesn't pull too much focus um, we could do a little bit different with her pants but I think that's kind of the outfit that I want to go with this was part of the uh, big deluxe 2021 fashion pack that I unboxed in my last big styling video. Uh, it's very cute. So I think that is the look for her. Uh, I really do love those yoga pants because they are great for all of our looks to really be completed. Uh, and now we have this Barbie that we're going to style. Uh, this, if you remember, is our Stripes HBC Barbie. I did leave her beanie and her glasses on because I thought they were super cute. Uh, I may actually style her with her original pants and just give her a different top because I didn't really love that denim top that she was wearing. Uh, but maybe this one? Oh no, that's gray. Uh, so we could go like that, but that's stripes and solids. Let's see, maybe that one? No. I like this, but the blue and the gray are too close in a shade to really work well. I could do this one, the more than a minion but I don't know if I love that. Uh, so let's put her pants on because we are gonna keep her in these pants because um, these pants are super cute. They are signature pants, so they're really well put together on top of that. Um, so the majority of her outfit stay the same. And let's look at shirts to see what we've got that'll go with that gray. Maybe this one, the dino one? be kind of cute. This is almost a Ken top though. Um, but let's see what else we got that's going to look cute with that. I mean, I could just throw a straight up mesh top over it, but that would be very risque. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get Maybe this one? Would that look cute? Eh, no, not really. Let's consider this one for the time being. While I pull out our other bag that we had. 
we do have a couple of different options in here um, that we can use. I actually think I want to use this one because that would be cute. The gray is not going to detract from that neon green. It's also going to be very cute. It's not going to be too much for it. Or we could use the music band T if we really just want to make her really basic. So let's try all three of these tops out and see which one we like. Um, like I can tell you this girl drives a Subaru already. Uh, which I kind of wish I had a Barbie Subaru. Like that'd be fun. Um, so here is this one again. It's kind of a big one. It's going to be really oversized. I don't love this fit on her. Um, so I'm going to say this is a Ken top from now on. Uh, well, let's look at this one and see if it's a little too glam for the cargos. So... It's not bad, it's giving me Kim Possible. And you know what? That's good enough for me. She's gonna be Kim Possible. Um, so, we do have uh, a different color up here for her accessories, uh, which means we don't have a lot of options to actually color match that. So what we're gonna have to do is give her um, some different shoes. So I think she's gonna get the purple combat boots because they're cute and I think they fit can't tell so I do have to bunch them up on top because they won't fit really over the ones. Uh, like that. Cute purple. Uh, again, not bad. I kind of like this outfit. Uh, I'm not sure if these fit her perfectly or not because they seem like they're a little high but I'm not sure if these are just meant to be a heeled boot because see where that heel is right there compared to there um, but it's close enough that it doesn't really bother me uh, so she looks cute uh, she does have some white so I'm gonna give her this little cuff right there just for something to kind of draw the eye uh, she's already got sunglasses on so we're not going to mess with any of that. Uh, that scoop neck is going to be a little high for anything but a choker. And she's, in my opinion, not the girl that wears a choker. So we're going to put her back right there. And we are going to look at this beauty. And now this one is an older head that I found uh, She's really cute. I like her. Um, and so I think we're going to try... Um, uh, let's see. I was looking through my previous bag, and I found one that I really kind of want to put on her because I didn't put it on any of my other ones. So I think we're going to try that one first just because I didn't put it on any of my other dolls. And that is this dress from the Deluxe Fashion Pack. I think it's actually designed with a petite in mind. Uh, so we are gonna try it on an original, because again, all of these are on original bodies. Um, they haven't actually made a petite in her skin tone yet, which I'm a little miffed about because they keep doing the Barbie made to move yoga lines 
uh, and they'll give us like, you know, different skin tones, but they won't give us different body types, which if you're going to do those, make each skin tone a body type and just alternate them. Uh, she actually has some staining here on her hands because this is a, um, a made to move body that I actually found at the thrift store of all places. I got two of them that way. I think the, uh, the last doll that I'm going to do is actually on that other body that I had from the thrift store. Um, so she's really cute this way, actually. I like this dress. It's a little loose for me. Um, if I had a black belt, I might belt it. But it's still really cute this way. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her uh, this pearl headband because it matches the blue that's in her dress. So what we're going to do is just kind of pop it right along her ears right there. I missed it on this side. And we're just going to do that. A little Anne Boleyn vibe now, but it's still really cute. Um, and that goes with her look. Now, she's not really going to have room for any uh, accessories on her neck or wrist. So what we're going to do, I think, is give her some cute boots. And I'm thinking about the tall boots right there. What do you think? It might be a little too much with this dress. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't think it's different enough from her skin tone. Uh, that's the problem with these in taupe. Uh, they're really close to a medium tan skin tone. Um, and I just worry about that looking a little off. Um, so what we're gonna do instead is we're going to see if I can find some purple that doesn't seem to clash with her too much. Because matching that shade of blue that we had is going to be really hard. Uh, because it is not sky blue or baby blue. Uh, it is a like a robin's egg blue, which is not easy to find. Is this one? So this one would work. Possibly. Let's see if I can find the other shoe. Actually, I think these are on the opposite of the shoe. What do we think? Like that, we've got our matching. Okay. So again, this one, this dress was from the big deluxe fashion pack. Uh, it's very cute. Uh, she is actually gonna get a purse. I don't know which one right at this minute. Uh, but. I'm hesitant to give her my uh, Zuru fashion one, Zuru mini fashion. Uh, so for now, she is just going to go like this and get put back on her spot. Again, these are not coming out to be a lot of the pieces that we used in our set. 
in our unboxings, unfortunately. So there are our four girls so far. And now our last one is another mermaid. I showed this one in my hair restyling video. She's got her ponytails. Uh, she's got purple, blue, and pink. So a lot of Barbie colors. Uh, so we should be good on trying to find those. Um, I'm thinking this one maybe, but I don't love it. Maybe this one. No, because the lilac is different than the color that's in her hair. Uh, I feel like this would be too much pink with her. And then she does not have this green in her hair, and I feel like adding another color to her scheme is a little off. Uh, there's no orange or yellow in her hair. Uh, no. Dang it. So we are going to go back to the bags. What do we think? Maybe the romper would be cute on her? It's got the pink and the purple. It's, uh, but it's majority white. So maybe that'll detract from how colorful her hair is. Let's see. do is go like this. Okay. I mean, that's cute. It's a little Jurassic World. Uh, sorry, her hair is, again, redone. So it's going to be a little frizzier. Uh, she's in this romper. It is cute. She's got a lot of room for accessories here on her arm which I think is how we're gonna bring in that blue. But I wanna give her these shoes, I think, maybe. But I'm hesitant to give her heels with a romper. So let's see what else we have in that color in our shoe box. Because I do wanna bring those in on B. So I do have these, and I think these would be a good match for her vibe that she's got going on. Um, so let's see where the other one went. And I know everybody wants me to organize my shoes so it goes a little faster, but it is not super high on my organization at the moment. Finding like all the shoes that are not that one, of course. This is very upsetting. This one may have been lost to the shoe gods. I'm not quite sure why it's disappeared. All the shoes go, oh, falling out of the back. That's why. There it is, okay. So this is the color that's in her hair. So we are gonna try to make that work. So that's how she looks like that. And then we are going to see about some other accessories in that blue, 
which is a little harder to get than you would think, just because we don't get a ton of accessories in that color. So we've got this bag, has got all of our hair accessories and our glasses, which we're not gonna mess with, I don't think, because I'm not craving any of that to be on her. I may throw a black belt on there just to kind of break up that romper, and because I have one. Uh, so let's see how this works. Just because that gather at her waist is not a perfect gather for me. There we go, that breaks that up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to look at our other accessories that we have. If we have anything in that blue, I think this one down here will work. Again, not a ton of things in blue. As you can see, I've got all my accessories and my earrings and things in here. Uh, but we don't get a ton in that light blue color. Just in general on any Barbie stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do is try to match it with what we do have. So I do have this blue uh, chain bracelet. I think that came out of a winter advent calendar like that. And it is technically transparent, but it is cute. And I think I would also give her one of these pearl scrunchies to kind of break that up and draw a little more attention to the eye. Because um, it is white, it's a neutral for us. There we go. So, a little bit like that, just to draw it down. And that's a good way to incorporate all three of her colors. We do have the pink, we have the purple, uh, we have the blue in her accessories. I wish this belt was blue, but I don't really have that option. Uh, but it's a cute enough look for her. Again, this is another mermaid that got legs from the Sea Witch, so she's not real picky about her outfits at this point in time. She's trying to figure out either how to get back to the ocean or how to stay on land. So again, a very cute outfit for her. This is a Jurassic World fashion pack that should be in stores. Pretty easy to find right now. Um, so, very cute girls all lined up. Uh, again, we didn't use a ton of what we got from the fashion packs, unfortunately. Um, just because there was not really a lot of winners in these fashion packs that I had. Not for the dolls that I had currently, just because... Uh, of color palettes. These two very much limit the outfits that they're going to look good in because of their hair colors. Um, so really my basics that I was going to be able to do are these, which are two of the outfits that I had left over from my previous fashion styling video. So a lot of this stuff is going to get put into a box, put into a bag for the next styling video to see what we like. Uh, but a lot of the minion stuff, I think, is probably just going to uh, go bye-bye. This may get... Uh, I may throw, like, a simple stitch in there to hold this ruffle down to make that a little bit better. Because uh, once this is held down, it would look a little cuter, I think. Uh, but the problem with this one is it goes straight up. Uh, 
so I may throw a little stitch on there. Uh, but yeah, so this is how they kind of look, kind of wind up looking. You can see they each got very different vibes. Some of them are more casual, some of them are a little more formal. Uh, some of them are a little more glam. We have a full-on Kim Possible outfit, which I do love. I love Kim Possible, let's be real. Uh, uh, the only thing wrong with her is I probably should put this outfit on a ginger doll so it really looks like Kim Possible. Uh, but I don't have any gingers that I'm, uh, that I am redoing right at this moment. Uh, this one was cute, but the gather, this looks a little bit more like a, like a cheap fashion doll outfit than anything else. I think maybe if I go through on some of these gathers and iron them and give it more of creases, it would look a little more high end. Um, T-shirt dresses are going to be pajamas now. Uh, these could both go on Rainbow High to do sleepovers. Uh, this one is probably a pass because it's just not great and it's got minions all over it and not really in a cute way. This one just didn't have the right doll for right now. I would use this shirt on a lot of other things. Uh, same with the shorts, but the problem is these are going to look best on a curvy doll. Uh, so thankfully pink is really popular for shirts. Uh, this shirt may get relegated to the Kens. It's not a super baggy one, but it still could be a Ken shirt. Uh, so if you guys have any questions on these fashion packs, I know I didn't use a ton of them, but that's more my personal styling. Uh, and I probably did use some of the accessories from each of them, but this one might might wind up on a doll one of these days uh, because it's a relatively simple graphic. This one, this skirt, I didn't even consider for any of them because this is a kind of a horrendous print. Uh, but <laughs> this one will definitely wind up on a doll. This one may wind up on a doll. I haven't decided just because it is rather um, shiny and it's the same kind of pattern that doesn't really lay well in my past experience. Uh, this shirt will probably wind up on a doll. Uh, I just have to find the right orange pants or skirt for this to make it look super cute. Uh, these may wind up on a doll because when they're belt when this one is belted, it would probably look pretty cute. And this one on its own is going to be pretty cute on a curvy doll, I think, because it's a little more structured than the basic t-shirt dresses. So that's what we've got. Uh, we didn't use the silver converse uh, for anyone, kind of surprisingly. Uh, we didn't use the little puffball shoes. We could have used the puffball shoes for the romper girl, but I didn't want to stick her in heels. So we did have two of those pairs of shoes left over that we got from our fashion packs. Uh, lots of accessories left over, which is always the good uh, because it's always better to have accessories and not need them than to need them and not have them. Uh, so again, another little extra purse. We could throw it on somewhere. Uh, but for now, I think their outfits look pretty cute. Uh, so that's where we're at, you know, another bag that fell off over here because I left it off because I was using it as a belt. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you guys have suggestions for how I could use some of these other pieces, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, and as always, follow along for more fun unboxings. I have a couple of big Rainbow High unboxings coming up that I'm going to film. Uh, so I have to clear this whole area. Uh, so stay tuned for that one, guys. And as always, be good. Bye, y'all.